Geologists can use the relationship between bedding and cleavage to work out if beds have been overturned and are the wrong way up. Bedding, or the layering in sedimentary rocks, is marked by changes in grain size or composition. In this photograph, you can easily pick out the parallel bedding planes. These primary sedimentary structures are indicated on these vertical rock faces by changes in colour where there are differences in composition. Cleavage is the tendency of a rock to split into thin layers along secondary closely spaced fractures. On these two photographs, you can see an outcrop which shows bedding and cleavage. In the left-hand photograph, the long edge of the scale card is parallel to the bedding. In the right-hand photograph, the long edge of the card is parallel to the cleavage. Notice that in this outcrop, the cleavage has a steeper angle of dip than the bedding. When folding and cleavage form under the same stress field, the cleavage planes and fold axial planes are approximately parallel to each other. This relationship can be used to work out the geometry of the fold and whether or not the layers have been overturned. The diagram on the left hand side shows this relationship. On this fold, the beds are the right way up on each fold limb. And on each fold limb, the cleavage has a greater angle of dip than the bedding. The diagram on the right hand side shows a fold which has one overturned limb. Note that in this diagram it shows that on the overturned limb the cleavage has a lower angle of dip than the bedding.